Hi guys, Jim here again with another Sudoku video. Uh, today we'll be playing a classic Sudoku, as you can see on the screen. Um, also, I am trying out a new camera angle, uh, so let me know how terrible it is down below. Um, it will stick around for a few videos, even if you do tell me that you hate it, so uh, apologies for that. Um, anyway, so we're playing a classic Sudoku, which, as I've said before, is part of the pack of puzzles, the compilation uh, the collection of puzzles presented by Cracking the Cryptic, which are a um, a couple of guys who solve puzzles on YouTube. Go check them out. They're much better at this than I am. Um, they've released these puzzles for wider consumption by the community. And um, yeah, their channel by itself, very entertaining. Uh, they put out, you know, a video every day for years, etc., etc. And yeah, go go check them out. Give them, a, give, them give them some love. Um, uh, today... As I've said, we will just be playing one of the classic Sudokus, but there is a whole bunch of variant um, collections on offer from them. Um, so, you know, if, if any of this sort of takes you fancy, go check it out. The puzzles themselves are handcrafted, and so they're very logical to solve, and they um, also come with a series of curated hints. So if you get stuck, um, they can kind of guide you along the way. Uh, but yeah, with all that said, uh, let us jump into it so as ever and um, playing through in difficulty order um, as you beat the earlier earlier levels you get to levels the earlier puzzles you get to um, uh, play the later ones as you collect stars uh, so now the one uh, puzzle available to us today is puzzle number three so let's jump in um, usual Sudoku rules which I'm sure you're all familiar with but every box needs the digits one through nine every column needs the digits one through nine and every row needs the digits one through nine and as there are only nine digits in each of those um, they can only appear once and that is it so let's jump into it so um, I could tell from these two ones here that ones must go here in the box so I tend to follow I think it's called the Snyder notation for pencil marking um, where you note in the corner if you can restrict a number to two box two cells in a box um, which if you go around and do it, it can be very helpful indeed. I don't think I'm going to get much more from ones for the time being. In this box, they're restricted here, but I don't like doing pencil marks over three cells. Um, twos are better. In fact, yes, look, in this box, we can in fact just place a two straight away. So this two, this two, and this two, in fact, all the twos, look at this box and rule out all of those. So that must be a two. Um, does that help? No. Okay, um, right, let's check out threes. I like to just go around in order. There's probably, you know, better places to start. Um, but, you know, well, <laughs> I'm a simple guy. I count to nine <laughs> in order. Right, so three in here is in fact locked into this box. That is interesting though. So I'll just pause on my counting scheme and just note that a one and an eight are required in this row. And if I look up here, I can see a one there. So in fact, there must be a one here to complete the row. That gives us an eight over there as well. And also my pencil markings from earlier have helped out because now I know without having to double check the logic that there must be a one here because I'd ruled only two ones there before. Uh, in fact, that gives us ones down there as well. So isn't that lovely? The other type of pencil marking you can do um, is to put um, the pencil marks in the center of a cell and that's to say this cell can only be these things um, and so in this case we know that we're missing from the box we're missing an eight a six and a nine yes so six eight nine like that um, and so um, we also know if we look if we look over we can see that six rules out from here so in fact that must be a six so that gives us an eight nine pair over there which is useful to keep keep in memory i mean if you glance at this box you know if these are blank and you glance at that box you might think oh that, that's an eight and a nine but actually seeing them seeing them like that i find very helpful visually um actually if we just return to ones briefly the ones in fact can be pencil marked into that box as well which is useful um okay where were we i think we we're on threes we were on threes yes and in fact threes are limited up in here so these two threes place a three in that box um three uh in this box can go in one of three places that's not helpful same here um that might be up for threes for the time being what about fours what have fours got to say for themselves yes yeah, so fours are limited to two places in this box um and 
Oh, I realise I didn't have my usual background music chilling and out too. So let's put that back in. Um, right, and then we were looking at fives, which come after four. So five goes there. be it for the time being. Ah, six in this box is in fact limited to one cell, which is useful. Don't need to pencil mark that. I can put that in with a proper pen. Uh, this row now is missing three digits, so again I'll go back to the three cell notation, the middle, the mid cell notation. So that is a six, an eight, and a four missing from there, and in fact the six obviously can't be here because there's a six in the box. So that can only be a four or an eight. And if I look down here, that can't be an 8 and that can't be a 4. So that's quite useful to have written down. These must be 6. 6 must be in one of those two. And in fact, in one of those two. Yeah, so 6s have done reasonably well. They're quite free in here, so 6 could go pretty much anywhere in that box. I'm going to leave that for now. Ah, yes, 7 in this box is actually uh, locked into one cell, which is nice. I can pencil mark 7s there. Again, sevens in two cells there. That might be it for sevens, right? Let's keep going. Eight. Ooh, eight. <laughs> eight is not helpful. Uh, okay, let's go to nine. Okay, so nine in this box is actually limited to one cell by the nines looking at it and the nine up above. So that's nine. And in fact, that gives us a six by the pencil markings from earlier. So that is handy. These two are now, in fact, a seven and an eight. Let me just note that in there. Um, okay, so we've sort of been all the way around now, have we? We have. Can I do better? Yeah, so these are nines. Well, that's not to say that they are both a nine, because that doesn't work, but in fact, nine is limited. Ah, okay. And so here's the power of the other pencil marking we did. So we know there's a nine here. So that's a virtual nine in this row, if you like. It doesn't matter which one it is it rules nines out from the rest of these cells. So in fact, that cannot be a nine. And in fact, that is the nine. And I think I just noticed as well, that must be a nine by um, uh, those two, the influence in the box over there. That puts nines in one of those two cells. What am I missing from here? I'm missing an eight, a two, and a four which is actually not very helpful because I can't rule any of those out. What about down here? I'm missing a 2, an 8, and a 5. I can take uh, I can take 2 out of this cell because of that 2 there. That's about all I can do for now. Ah, yeah, okay, so this creates another virtual 2. So that takes a 2 out of that cell, um, which is not as useful as I would like, but it's still something. Um, are we happy that we finished up on ones? Yeah, ones are pretty done. Have threes got better since our first pass of the grid? They have. If we look in this cell, uh, in this box, threes can only go in one of two places there. Ooh, let's do the usual corner notation for that. Um, <clears throat> Okay, have fours got any better? About fives. Sixes. Okay, this is where you get a bit worried. Because you're like, mm, I'm, wor I'm running out of logic here. That's sevens. Once you've been around the grid once. Ah, okay, so sevens do reveal their secrets. So in this box now, now that I've, yeah, okay. So you can see, so, because I did the pencil markings for this row, I know that sevens can't go there. You can tell that by glancing here, right? But um, it's not too obvious if you haven't done the pencil marking. So sevens can't be there. And what that means is that in this box, sevens are in fact limited to these two cells. And what that does is that gives us a virtual seven in the column and places a seven there, which gives a seven over there and an eight in turn, um, which is, I mean, you know, it's not unhelpful, but it's not quite done the damage I was hoping for. Let's pop the limited 
numbers in here that we can. So there's a five to go in there as well. Um, yeah, so uh, where were we? We were on seven. Can I keep going with eight? Not really. And nines? And nines any better? Hmm, okay. So now <laughs> we start getting a bit desperate. Um, so these are a one, two, and a five, aren't they? So let me pop those in. I can rule two out of this cell because of the two in the row. What else can we see? Maybe we'll just go a quick, a quick once over, just to make sure I haven't missed anything obvious. Ones, twos. So I like to think that you can see these puzzles aren't an absolute gimme, right? This is a two-star puzzle, and it goes up to ten stars, and this is not straightforward. Although I can now see another digit. So three down there, and a three there. Limit where we can put threes in this box. That gives us a three there which is lovely that ruled out a nine from a pencil mark so the nine must now go there i wonder if this has sort of done the job because this has revealed a few things hasn't it um or maybe i said that a bit early oh that was my last that was my last nine so you can see i'm all out of nines now which is nice we've used up all of those um <clears throat> what about threes did that use of a three give me anything else three must be in one of those two cells interesting let's go back round again just quickly then fours ah what's missing from this column absolute idiot that must be an eight Ah, okay, so yeah, I've missed I missed that I can rule a five out from there. That's something. It's not a lot, but it is something. Can we improve on our sixes fortune? We cannot. Sevens again. Eights. And then nines are done. Okay. Okay. So there's something I'm not seeing. And I can't see any obviously weak cells what you can do is look for what are known as naked singles so a naked single is basically if you did the central pencil marks and there was only one available and so basically if if um, let's say let's say I didn't know this eight was an eight right um, just looking at the it's obviously an eight because it's missing from the box but why is it an eight? Well, it's an eight because it can see one, two, three, it can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. So the only thing available to it is in fact to be an eight. Um, <clears throat> and you can ask that same question with, with other cells that aren't just limited in their box. So for instance, this cell here is all, it's, it's powerful because it can only be a four or an eight. Um, but why can it only be a four or an eight? And the reason why it can only be a four or an eight is because it sees one, two, three, doesn't see four, five, six, seven, and nine. And so it doesn't have to just see them all in the box, if that makes sense. So you might find like random cells like this cell. This cell sees, you know, one, five, nine, six, and seven. Um, so it's reasonably powerful, but not powerful enough. Um, and yeah, so that's that's one technique, but I'm never very good at spotting naked singles. Sorry, just bear with me. If I get really stuck, I'll pause the video and have a have a little think. if you guys can see it you know I'm sorry <laughs> I can't don't know what more I can tell you um, well what's the weakest 
what's the weakest box this box is quite weak isn't it because there's only four available cells so let's pencil mark these it might just it might just give us something so fives are limited there sevens are limited there and then I think eights can go there and then I'm pretty sure all of these can be a four yeah so that's a five and a four so that's quite limited but this cell could be basically whatever it wants but yeah, I could have done the naked single trick here, being like, okay, well, that can see a one, a two, a three. You know, this cell can see, um, you know, one, two, three. Can't see four or five, but it can see six, seven, and eight, and nine. So that's kind of, you know, and they're not obviously, you know, if those cells were all in a box, you'd be able to say, okay, well, obviously can't be any of those. But because they're kind of all over the place, it's difficult to spot. Are any rows or columns particularly weak? Yeah, I mean, this column can only is missing four things, isn't it? So what is it missing? It's missing, well, it's obviously missing four and six from above, and then it's also missing a two and a five. Now, this one is reasonably interesting because it can't be a two or a four, and that one can't be a six. So that's a five or a six. What about this cell? This cell can see one, two, three, four. Can't see a five or a six, but it can see seven, eight, nine. So this is a five or a six. Ah, ah, ha, ha. I've just stumbled upon it. So can you see it? So in this row, right? Oh, man, bloody hell, this was hard. In this row, we have a 5-6 pair. And what that means is that I know this can only be a 5 or a 6. And I know this can only be a 5 or a 6. Which actually means I know that these two cells are 5 and 6 in some order. Because if that's a 5, right, then that must be a 6. And if that's a five then that must be a six and those are the only two options and so what that means is this row can have a no other fives or sixes so fives or sixes are used and so what that means is that can't be a five so that must be an eight good lord yeah this is not an easy puzzle it's a bloody two-star puzzle <sighs> okay so in this box the eight is now limited to here which is useful Obviously it's useful. Um, okay, that eight does work in this box as well because, um, <clears throat> excuse me, because uh, eights are limited there and there. What does this row need for completion? Is a one and a three. Unfortunately, it works in both those cells, but I'll pop it in anyway because that's a useful pencil mark. Um, what are we missing? Yeah, it hasn't done quite the work I had hoped it would. Yeah, because eights can still be here, here, or here, frustratingly. Um, well, what can this cell be? We've got five available, haven't we? So we're missing four, five, six. That could be a four, five, six, a four or five, or a six. I mean, I might as well pencil mark that, but it's not that useful. I basically pencil mark the whole grid at this stage. It's really not very helpful. Um, yeah, this is limited to five, so what are we missing? One and three. Well, sorry. That can't be a one, and that can't be a three. And then four, five, and six. Six can't go there, so it's four and five, and then four can't go there. Yeah, this is not a gimme, this puzzle, is it? Good lord, I'm taking up to 20 minutes. It's a long video. Um, boop, 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 boop. Is there any other logic like that that I'm not spotting? Ah, oh, there is, yes. So two and four in here. Oh, okay, that should have been quite obvious. So um, this cell, to complete this column, we've used two and four in the same in the same way. It's a two-four pair in both the column and the box, actually. So where does, you know, 
what else need is needed in this column well it needs a five and that also that has been ruled out as a four by that so either way you look at it that must be a five yes okay i think i think this will do it that's therefore a one and then i'm just going to kind of complete you know join the dots with my pencil marks as i go around the grid so we've got is that all the ones one is limited in this box now to here which is useful so it's limited in that box to that cell is that all the ones done yeah so ones and nines were done first that's quite nice um what else are we saying um what else did i get i got a two yeah okay ah okay so um we have an interesting situation here where in this box we've got Two and a, we've got twos limited to these two cells and we've got sevens limited to these two cells which is the same logic as before so if that's a two that must be a seven and if that's a two that must be a seven so in fact nothing else can go in these cells so that's that that gives us the ability to pencil mark twos and sevens in there which is useful but more importantly i had a three pencil mark here so i now know that can't be a three and so it must be in the other three pencil mark which was that one um, and that gives us a three down in the bottom corner, which gives us a three over here. Um, I think I saw that re released an eight. It did. Um, and then uh, that gives us this eight, which gives us the final eight over there. Whew, this puzzle has resisted. Just tidying up that box. We've got two there, six in the middle, seven there. That gives us a four to complete that box. Two and four up top. We've got a four down here some somehow all of a sudden that leaves us with the final four there that's a five that's a two that's a six that's a five that's a two Whew. that's a five and finally that's a six let's go 20 minutes for a two-star puzzle right so anyway i really enjoyed that it was tough in the middle i hope you uh, stuck it out and um thank you very much for watching i will see you next time Cheers. If I can stop the recording, that is.